Welcome to True Sports Talk. Let's let the talk begin. And what we're talking about? Manny Pacquiao, second round knockout of Ricky Hatton. All right, so perfectly honest, I didn't see Manny Pacquiao coming out and knocking Ricky Hatton out in the second round. I didn't see the fight ending that early. If you watched my breakdown earlier, you saw that I said it was going to go nine and Pacquiao was going to win at nine. So this is how Ricky Hatton ended up losing to Manny Pacquiao. It wasn't by the left hand that Floyd Mayweather and Ricky Hatton practiced and looked for. They looked for Manny Pacquiao to come out and establish dominance with a right with a left hook. It wasn't the left hand. The left didn't come into play at all. What happened? Manny Pacquiao is now a better fighter. He's a more balanced fighter. And Freddie Roach, one of the greatest trainers, developed a right hand for Manny Pacquiao. And that's how he beat Ricky Hatton. Okay? Ricky Hatton defense, whole defensive plan was to take away the left hand, neutralize his left hand. They completely forgot about the right hand. So Pacquiao used the right hand over and over again. If you look look at the replays of the fight, the first knockdown was with a right hand. All his big power shots were right hooks. It wasn't the left. Yes, the left ended the fight. The left did end the fight. But it was all the right hands. He developed the right hand. Okay? Now, another game plan that Freddie Roach implemented, which worked to perfection. They watched Ricky Hatton and they saw Ricky Hatton is a fighter. He's not defensive. He's a fighter. And what he does when he punches, he drops his guard. He constantly drops his guard. If you watch the fight, his guard was down. He got caught with his guard down on a number of occasions. He drops his guard. When he gets ready to punch, he drops his guard. When he swings, he clinches, drops his guard. So he dropped his guard, got caught with a left. Manny Pacquiao wins. So, like I said, I didn't see it coming, but when it comes down to a great game plan and a great fighter that Manny Pacquiao has became, because when he first started, he was just strictly, he was standing in the trenches and punch with you all day. Now, he's maneuvering, he gets out the way, he's using not only a left, he's using a right, he's using both hands with a lot of power. So, what does this mean for boxing? All Floyd Mayweather has to do is beat Marquez, and it sets up the perfect match that everybody wants to see. These two quick, powerful guys going at it. That's all I can say about it right now until it actually happens, and then I can break that down. But this video is over. Manny Pacquiao knocks out Ricky Hatton in the second round. The end of the second round. Hatton went down with eight seconds left. He could have made it out, but he didn't. So, two sports talk. I'm out.